Hi, today we're going to be talking about what are inequalities. So inequalities help us relatively compare things. Okay, so let's look at some examples to get uh, more specific. So here's the example. Sarah is older than Will. So how would you represent that Sarah is older than Will? Well, let's see. There are two signs for inequalities, either this sign or this sign. Let's look at what each sign means. This sign means less than. A good way to remember that's less than is that this, this side is small, this little tiny pointy edge, and this side is big. So less than is when this side is small. So for example, 3 is less than 5. Okay. Now let's look at the other symbol or sign. So this sign means greater than. A good way to remember this is that this side is big. So example, 5 is greater than 3. So I'm going to show you a quick comic um, before we move on to the second half of our lesson. These are the two inequality signs, and they both remind me of crocodiles. So I decided to dry, draw some crocs. And remember, math is yummy and it's fun. So here is an example. So Eva has either the same number or more co coats than Sally. Well, it can't be the greater than sign because there's also the either the same number part. So how do we represent this? Well, we have a new set of symbols. This symbol states that it's less than or equal to. Basically, it's the less than sign with an equal to. Um, and the equal to is noted with the single straight horizontal line below the less than symbol. The same goes for the greater than or equal to symbol. It's basically the greater than symbol on top of a horizontal line that's, that signifies the equal sign. So what about Eva and Sally? Let's go back to Eva and Sally. So it says Eva has either the same number of some number or more coats than Sally. So what we would do is we'd have Eva is greater than or equal to Sally if we have the coat number. Okay, so I hope that helped and I hope to see you soon.